Hey everybody, we got another frame. This is going to be the UR UAV Lemire 220. Comes with a PDB, landing pads, branded strap. Dirty plate, bottom plate, arms, file, standoffs, TPU print for the antenna and the FPV camera, standoffs, and hardware. This is a real simple one to put together. People have said that it is a knockoff or inspired by the flight club proton it doesn't look anything like it except for i mean the materials they use are the same it's got an aluminum bottom plate and it's got carbon fiber but the arms don't look anything like it the top plate doesn't look anything like it it's not even close to being i don't even think it looks inspired by but that's just me. You can check it out if you want to. There's the top plate. This is very minimalist frame. The arms are really thick, which is cool. It's kind of like the Furious 220 that I have that I've been flying for quite a while. Um, I'm gonna have to revisit that frame because that frame is a good one. So let's throw this in together quick. Like I said, it's real basic and simple. I mean, the arms are going to be different. You can see how those ones are longer and those ones are shorter. So this one and this one are going to be the same. Diagonal corners like that. So this is going to be a shorter one, shorter one just like that and this plate is gonna go under the bottom because then you're gonna put your screws through the hole for your flight controller and put your standoffs on it so I'll show you that gonna need eight of the same put the screw through carbon fiber plate and then your arm then you can do another one on the other side and then the wider parts gonna be in the front because your cameras gonna need to go between the wider part and then Start the other two screws in. It doesn't really matter which way they go. This way with the long one over here or there or this way because they're going to turn out to be the same way either way. See how the holes line up that way. And the holes also line up this way. You just need to make sure you have one long and one short on the back and one long and one short on the front. Just push the screws through, start them in there, so I'll do it so you can see, and then as soon as they're all started in, then you know you're not going to cross thread it, and you can go ahead and tighten them down. I 
I like how thick the arms are where it comes in and meets the screw right here. For the standoffs, they're going to go in the center. All the rest of these screws are all the same length. Just grab four of them, doesn't matter what four. And you're going to go through the big hole in the bottom plate. And then thread your standoff on. This is a really nice blue anodized plate. This is really cool. Anodizing is not perfect. There's a little spot where it didn't quite anodize around this hole right here. But that'll be covered up by the standoff anyways. Other than that, that's just that one little spot where the anodizing is a little bit thin right here. Otherwise, it's really nice everywhere else. I got the raised lumps in here where the threads are in that in this aluminum plate. I don't normally use the PDB when I'm building builds like this anyways because I'll just in my stack I'll use anti-vibration standoffs 4-in-1 ESC because the arms are so skinny I'd rather use a 4-in-1 and then the flight controller I'll just do this just for because this is what they provide I'm getting to have a pretty big pile of these PDBs laying around that I don't really use so the screws that come with to go through this bottom plate are it doesn't leave very much room to thread into the standoff. I mean, they're, it's plenty enough to hold a flight controller, but I'd like to see them be like a couple millimeters longer, but they will definitely work. I don't use the nylon standoffs anyways. I've been using the anti-vibration standoffs on all my builds, so that's how that goes in. And then we can put the standoffs on. So that's tight, then you slide your camera mounts on and your antenna mount. There's your camera mounts. These are pretty pretty good TPU prints too. Not bad at all. I would definitely buy them if somebody was selling them. So, throw the top plate on. I actually think I do have a camera up here. I'll have to grab it and put it in here quick. It's going to be a real tough frame to try to put a GoPro mount on top. Basically you would have to print an actual mount out of TPU that covers the whole top, which is what I'll probably do. We'll see once we get the camera how much room there actually is, but it, it looks like there's a lot of room. So there's a frame I'll put together. I'm going to grab my caliper, get some measurements. The arms, five millimeter by 10 millimeter. Uh, bottom plate, two millimeter. The aluminum plate, three millimeter. Top plate's gonna be two. And then between the camera, it's gonna be 18 millimeters. It's a really, a really light frame. I'll have to get the scale and weigh it. I'm gonna pull the PDB off to do a weight measurement on it so you can know what just the frame weight is 
And there's lots of room between this bottom plate and the aluminum plate to be able to put a strap through. It's not like a lot of the other ones where you can never be able to get a strap through it anywhere. You can go underneath here or underneath there. So that's really nice. The edges are sharp, but that's why they give you the file. So it just a couple swipes with the file and you're good. eighty seven grams so it's probably one of the lighter frames that I have and you can tell by looking at it as a stretched X stretched front to back 167 side to side 143 and it is a 220 on the money so the carbon fiber is really good there's no real chunks where the millings chunked out or anything uh, looks like the cutters nice and sharp all the edges are cleanly cut all the holes are pretty cleanly cut so I don't have any complaints with the carbon fiber at all let's put a camera in it see how the camera mounts up in there put this PDP back in there quick just so we can kind of get a reference of how it's gonna clear so the Swift Mini will not fit the Swift Mini is 22 millimeters, so I'm going to have to grab a micro. Swift 2 micro. This will be the first time using this camera in this build. I'll put it back on. You're going to be able to get crazy with this camera being in there. You'll be able to run it at whatever angle you want. You'll have so much adjustment up, up and down and tilt. So you'll pretty much have infinite control over your camera. just tiny so like I said you'll be able to run insane amounts of camera tilt on this thing that's a lot of camera tilt you could even do more than that if well it kind of touches right here so you'd have to relieve a little bit out of the bottom edge of this TPU right here. If you wanted to go up any more than that. Oh, or just push a little harder and it'll pop right over it. <laughs> That's 90 degrees. Look at that. 90 degrees, perfectly straight up flat with the, <laughs> with the top plate. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, you can go from negative all the way up to 90 with this thing. So that's pretty crazy. Just slide it all the way up. Definitely enough room where you don't have to worry about it being in the way of your stack. Like the Genius 215 that I have that I got built on my channel. This The plug will actually hit the top of the flight controller. This thing is really nice so if you're gonna buy this frame just make sure you pick up a micro there you go these are really nice TPU mounts really good prints both the front ones and the back one there's no separating in layers or anything like that. 
and you can squeeze it and see that all the layers have bonded together. Same with the front. When I tightened it down, it didn't separate or anything around the screw holes. Didn't separate when I was squeezing them before I put them on the standoffs. Everything just seems really good quality. The carbon fiber weave does run the, the right way on the arms. And they are really stiff. And there's no real room for any slop because of the way they interlock together and that you have two screws per arm. If you're looking for like a race type frame, this is going to be a really good one. The only concern is the top plate doesn't really cover. It's not really going to cover your flight controller very well. So you're going to be a little limited on protection on the side here. But this is definitely a really sweet looking frame. Links in the description. If you want to pick one up, just hit that link. As always, have a great day. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.